Well, hello everyone and welcome back. And what's on tap for today? Well, I've got some hosts. I've got some guests, folks. We've got Rand Paul. We've got Thanos. And if you're wondering what the backdrop is all about, folks, you know, Rand Paul always puts out his Christmas list. He calls it the Festivus, right? And it's basically, he airs out all of the pork, all of the additional spending, all the money that goes to waste, our money, not the government's money, but you know, your money, my money, our tax dollars, the people's money, how billions and billions and billions of dollars, and now it's to the tune of almost nearly half a trillion dollars of our hard-earned money is going to things that you wouldn't even know about. So why the background on Thanos or Thanos? Well, you know what? They actually spent, folks. You're not going to believe this. You're going to have to just wait for it as we come back because we're going to get into all of that. But if this is your first time here, we certainly appreciate you tuning in. You're watching the Dr. Nasser Shake Show. I happen to be your humble host for today. My name is Dr. Shake. And as I said before, we're going to bring all this stuff to you. And it's, if this doesn't make you just want to pull your freaking hair out, you know what I'm talking about? And say, no wonder our country and our Washington, D.C. elite, no wonder they call it the swamp, the cesspool, the toilet bowl. It just needs to completely be flushed down the toilet, everything about it, basically. Well, folks, hold on to your hats because just listen as we get into the Rand Paul 2002 Festivist Report. So as I said before, this is just the airing of grievances about federal spending, and we talked about it, a half a trillion dollars, folks, from billions of COVID relief funds that went to ineligible people to, as we talked about it, can you believe it or not, they spent $118,000, $118,000. Why? To see if this guy here could actually snap his glove with the rings. Remember that from the movie, if you haven't watched a Marvel series? And things just disappear. So the government actually, I mean, somebody actually conned the government into giving them $118,000. I would love to know who that person was. Hire them for some advertising work. Because, <laughs> I mean, how do you... I mean, somebody actually... Just think about it. The guy who's... Well, I don't even know who signs the checks, but somebody at the government is signing a check. And they're, and when they sign a check, they probably have to put something in a, in a column that says, what's it going for? What's it going to do? Uh, and... If they put it down, $118,000 going to ABC Company. Reason? Study of Thanos' glove to see if when he snaps, the road could be cut in half. Oh, it sounds like a good thing to me. Just check off. I mean, come on, folks. This is unbelievable. Now, it goes on to say that our national debt exploded by about $2 trillion dollars. And as we said before, nearly, I mean, a half a trillion dollars worth of federal waste. Okay, guess what? Inflation Reduction Act does nothing to do to combat inflation, but it has a nice name to it. The Inflation Reduction Act, IRA, sounds so good. But guess what? They're on top of that, the $1.9 trillion omnibus spending package for 2023. Nobody even read it. Nobody even read it. And that's exactly how we feel, don't we? Just, you know, what's going on, folks? What's happening here? I mean, unbelievable. Now, let's take a look at this. $31.5 million of the COVID relief funds went to buy luxury cars. And another $1.6 million was used to upgrade turf fields in Wisconsin. Now, look, folks, if somebody gives you some money, like if the government sent out a check to you. I'm just saying, let's be real. Let's be honest, right? Can we be real? Can we be honest here for a little bit? Let's see you get a check from the government. And they say, listen, um, we're going to give you some money, but you have to use at least some of it to fix up your house, 20% of it. We're giving you a million bucks. 
but 20% of it has to be used to fix your house. We don't care what you do with the rest of it, 20%. I mean, wouldn't everybody go out there home improvement, $200,000? I mean, that's exactly what happened here. The school took advantage of a rule that said a minimum of 20%, the funding had to be used to help students. So what'd they do? Yeah, we're going to help our students. We'll upgrade their turf fields. All right. The department, look at this. <laughs> they spent $200,000 on espresso machines from Starbucks. Starbucks. Well, like as Rand Paul says, at least our personnel will be perky and energetic, even as they pour America's taxpayer dollars, literally, literally, you know, down the drain. This was the massive bill. Over 4,000 pages. You think anybody read it? Of course not. Nobody read that. You know it. Look at this here. The Vera Institute of Justice got $168 million to help illegal immigrants avoid deportation. Since 2008, folks, we have given this institute over $1.1 billion. That's B with a billion dollars. What, and what does the Vera Institute do? They help illegal immigrants skirt immigration laws. They find the loopholes. And do you know how much the lawyers are making off of this and these different governmental, either private or public entities that they're giving this money out to? Since 2008, $1.1 billion. They allocate, as I said right now, $168 million going forward. It also says that our government does a bunch of things to animals, folks. So for those of you that are out there on the cruelty to animals, I completely agree with you on this thing here. They spend $3 million in grants to watch steroid-injected hamsters fight in an attempt to ascertain which certain drugs can soothe steroid-induced aggression. So here's what happened. They give steroids to mice, uh, hamsters. Once they've given them a certain dosage, obviously, there's changes that occur because there's changes that occur personality-wise when humans take steroids. So they wanted to study the effects of this. So they wanted to, well, first they inject the per, the uh, hamster or the animal with the steroids. They get a sense of what the activity is happening. Is there aggression? Is there not aggression? You know, what's going on? Um, are they hyper, not hyper? Are they uh, more relaxed, less relaxed? You know, whatever they're studying. And then they decide, well, now that we've seen these effects on the animals, let's see what drugs we can do to either calm those um, symptoms down or heighten those, depending upon what they're trying to study. Guess what? The beagle puppies, all oh, those tiny little precious beagle puppies, they actually spent $2.3 million. And what did they do with these beagle puppies, folks? Now, you're going to say, oh, Dr. Nasser, come on. That's just not right. Come on. They're not doing this. Folks, read the freaking bill. It spent $2.3 million to inject beagle puppies with cocaine. They injected these puppies with cocaine. They also spent, you're not, folks, Read the bill. Just go out there and read it. We're not making this stuff up. $1.1 million to watch mice get drunk. I, I kid you not, folks. $1.1 million to watch mice get drunk. Now, the question is, does the government really need that much money to get some mice tipsy? What could $1.1 million have done in your neighborhood? for veterans, for the homeless, for food shelters, for food banks. That's just 1.1 million out of half a trillion, folks. Guess what? Government also spent nearly $700,000 to study romance. Where? Between humans? No, of course not. Why would they want to study romance between all humans? They don't want to do that. <laughs> they did it for parrots. That's right. They spent $700,000 to study romance between parrots. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yep, 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 yep. They also spent $187,000 to verify if there's a loving relationship between kids and their pets and if it's beneficial or not. Now, I don't know about you folks, but if somebody told me that I can give you $187,000 to study whether or not 
there's a loving relationship between kids and their pets and if it's beneficial or for that matter beneficial between doesn't matter if they're kids you know adults it doesn't really matter I would have said sure I'll take that hundred eighty seven thousand dollars and I would have put one dollar into into a study and I would have kept the rest of it and I would have said you know what yeah there is a pretty decently um, I would say yeah there's a huge loving relationship between people and their pets. Then the National Science Foundation, oh, we talked about, this is the NSF. This is where the National Science Foundation, that's the people that got the $118,000 to study whether the evil Thanos could really snap his fingers while wearing the Infinity Glove and make half of all the life in the universe disappear. So why don't you guys put on a glove and see if that works for you? Unbelievable. Unbelievable, folks. But that's just that's just the tip of the freaking iceberg. Just the tip of the iceberg, folks. That's all I can say. Well, Thanos, maybe what we need to do is snap the fingers and disappear. I think that's what we're going to do right now, folks. All right? So, anyways, we appreciate you taking the time to watch us. We hope you uh, liked uh, what you saw here. And if you did, we'd really certainly uh, love for you to subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, like, share, and follow us. Let everybody know. You know what to do. And I'll leave you with my final thoughts, folks. And that is when you're right to right, woohoo! And when you're left, they're wrong. We'll see you next time, folks. Take care and stay safe.